Alright, today we're going to be reviewing the Tactity Torch. Um, Ryan, we've unboxed it. You can see it here. It came in a nice hard plastic case. It's got a really nice uh, power cord over here with a plastic clip on it that you can just hang on your uh, key rack or on your wrist. I'm all about the box. I gotta tell you, I like my tools, everything. Keep it inside the box. It has a couple clips, two on the side, two in the front. Keeps this lid closed real nice. Yeah, it looks pretty sturdy. These clips are uh, pretty tough. Uh, the case itself is nice hard plastic. So we're gonna open it up here and see what it looks like when it comes from the factory. It looks like it's uh, definitely a durable case. It's got some nice padding on the inside. And ah, bonus comes with a battery. I like that. So this is, looks like a rechargeable unit. You know, the nice thing about this battery is that not only does it power the flashlight, but when fully charged, you can also reverse the cable and it will power your Android device. Let's take a look at it here. Alright, logo, very nice touch. Looks like it's got a heavy duty aluminum and a uh, rubber gap there, rubber stock yeah, for the uh, USB. Yeah, it has the USB ports. It's great both ways, charging your mobile device and your flashlight. Slide adjustment for focus, it's, a, it's also a nice feature. And I believe this is a 1000 lumen unit. It comes with this uh, charger, uh, power cord, and uh, the wall unit. Oh, 1000, I haven't seen anything higher than 800. It's pretty good. Yeah, even the big box stores have less than 1000. Uh, I like this case though, I like yeah. it a lot. That is really sharp, it keeps everything contained. It looks like it'll fit real nice in your glove compartment of the car. Now let's take the back off here and see uh, how the battery fits in. Now, this unit uh, is not uh, completely waterproof, but it is significantly water resistant. We're going to test that a little bit later on. Absolutely, we're going to put this thing through its paces. It can be dropped. And, uh, and it's wow, bright. that is bright. Holy nice. cow. I don't know if the video is doing it justice here, but this is a, a bright unit. Now, there's two modes here there's a super bright and less. Oh, there's three modes. There's a blinking mode. Don't want to point that sucker in your eyes. Holy cow. All right, let's do some drop testing on it. So here we're just gonna drop it as if uh, you'd be a normal drop by accident. It's still nice. functioning. It's at five, six feet. Yeah. Now we're gonna step it up a little bit, and go up on the ladder. No way, it's not gonna make it. All right, drop from the ladder. Uh, wow, still working? Still working, let's I like it. Let's try one more, let's uh, bring it up to the balcony. No way, not gonna work. Oh, the light went out. Looks like it went off. Let's see, is it busted? No way. It must have just jarred the momentary switch, but it came right back on. So, uh, we'll run it under the sink a little bit and see how it does with the water. All right, here we go. Maybe a little splash. Oh no, going all for it. Look at that, right down the middle, it's still going. Not even a flicker. I'm not slippery either with this nice grip in the metal. Right. I like it. Let's push the boundaries a little bit. No way. Not in the water. Yeah. A little splash, but not, not. You're going to dunk it? Yep. We're going to dunk it. I'm going to have to go get new pretzels after this, though. I had to take them all out of this box. This, uh, this no jar. way. It's still working. All right. Well, like we said, we don't know how long it'll work underwater, but uh, it's significantly um, water resistant. All right. Well, let's, now, see, let's see the brightness. This is what we're talking about. So we took this out to the woods. Um, here we are at night. Again, it's going to be tough with the camera whether it does it justice or not. But, it's looking uh, pretty dark. It's got a nice direct beam. Now, this flashlight is actually LED powered, and the LED itself is a square. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's I like mean, a police flashlight. I think it's like a solar beam. It feels nice in the hand, not too heavy. Uh, and the slider here lets you change the, uh, the diameter of the circle. I'm going to bring it down. Now there's the square. That's the oh, LED. Like focus. That's how, uh, how tight it goes down. That's pretty sharp. Yeah. Usually I've only seen a round beam. I've never seen it go square. So that's uh, that's something else. I can almost see the little lines in the chip itself of that LED. Yeah. yeah, it's really lighting these trees and these leaves up pretty nicely. It's hard to tell from the video, but it's got a nice distance to it. And uh, it is pretty dark here. And this is uh, it's actually hurting my eyes a little bit. Yeah, these 1,000 lumens uh, make a big difference from some of the other flashlights that I picked up at some of the big box stores. I think I have a 800 lumen that really, and no pun intended, doesn't hold a candle to this flashlight. Awesome. And an LED, I think it's going to hold some power for a long time. I'm anxious to see what the range is. Yeah, so you see there the blinking mode as well as uh, 
the uh, low loom load and the high loom load. It's definitely a, a high quality flashlight and the price point seems about right as well. So that's our review of the Tactity Torch 2.0. I love it.